friends, welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday. It is grocery shopping day. It is still dark out because it is only about 6.45 a.m. I am outside of Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store, to do a little bit of grocery shopping. I'm also going to be hitting up Trader Joe's. So I'm going to have quite the haul for you this week. We will have Fred Meyer and Trader Joe's. I'm also going to go over my meal plan with you, which is a little bit different this upcoming week. I have a super fun video in mind. And so my meal plan is a little different, weird, odd this next week. It's not my traditional meal plan, but I'm also going to share with you my meal prep for the upcoming week. And I can not wait for my meal prep. Everything I'm going to be making sounds absolutely positively amazing. So if you want to see my grocery haul, what I have in store for my meal plan and meal prep, just stay tuned. <laughs> So here is my haul from Trader Joe's. I have a super fun video coming out shortly with this particular haul. Plus I picked up just a few of my Trader Joe's staples. So let's jump right into what I grabbed at Trader Joe's. First I got this poinsettia, you guys. It's so adorable. It's pretty small. I picked it up to go on my kitchen island. I do this every single year and normally I buy the larger poinsettia and I'm glad that I picked this smaller one just because I think it's going to look a little nicer on my kitchen island and it was $3.99. Can't beat it. And then I've been hearing that this is all the rage this holiday season and this is the Trader Joe's Almond Nog. Now look at the nutritional information you guys. It is half of a cup for 50 calories and it has the total sugars of eight. So I'm gonna put the points on the screen, of course, but I've been hearing that this almond nog is amazing. So I was thinking it would be nice to add to coffee or just to enjoy on the holiday. And 50 calories is about a third of what traditional eggnog is. And again, I've heard it's amazing. So I'm excited to give it a try. Also, Trader Joe's mini beef tacos. I'm excited about these. You can cook these either in your air fryer or in your oven, but I'm gonna be having this as part of a dinner and these sound really good. They also had mini chicken tacos and the points were about the same. So I know my husband gets tired of chicken, so I decided to go ahead and pick up the mini beef tacos. And then I grabbed these for Christmas. Um, we're gonna be doing like a lot of appetizer-y type of things on Christmas Eve. So these are the Trader Joe's hold the corn appetizers so it says nettled rice cones filled with a savory combination of sweet corn and veggies doesn't that sound delicious again pop them in your air fryer pop them in your oven these sound amazing i'm just going to toss them in the freezer until christmas and then i grabbed some salad kits so i picked up the trader joe's mediterranean style salad kit and this is romaine lettuce shredded broccoli stalks radicchio celery seasoned flatbread strips feta, sun-dried tomatoes, roasted chickpeas, and a red wine vinaigrette. This looks really delicious, so I grabbed that for a dinner. And I also picked up the Trader Joe's Vegetable and Soba Noodle Stir Fry Kit. And this is ready to heat, so everything you need is in here, including the noodles. And this is broccoli florets, bok choy, which I love bok choy, Savoy cabbage, snow peas, green onion with soba noodles, and soy ginger sauce. So really excited about having this as part of a dinner as well. And then I found these colorful carrot coins. These look so good. A blend of lightly seasoned orange, yellow, and purple, white and purple carrots. So really, really nice just as a side dish for dinner. And then I've been hearing about these. I've actually never picked these up. These are the pork gyoza pot stickers pork and vegetable dumplings. Now again, they had a chicken one of these and the points were pretty close. So I decided just to go with something other than chicken and grab the pork and look at these. These are pretty darn good size. So again, good air fryer item, good oven item, yum. And then I've been hearing about these too. These are the Trader Joe's turkey cranberry meatballs. I've been hearing all about these. These sound so delicious and it is 160 calories for four meatballs. So not bad at all. They've their turkey, cranberry, all the fun holiday flavors wrapped up in a meatball. Of course, I had to pick my dogs up some treats. These are the grain-free turkey and pumpkin jerky treats. 
they can't have chicken so i thought this would be a nice alternative and of course they are grain free as well and this is some nice big sticks of jerky and it was 3.99 so not bad i also picked up a box of turkey gravy i want to pair that with the turkey cranberry meatballs we also have this on thanksgiving every year it's delicious and it is so low points it's only 20 calories per quarter cup so literally not bad at all and it's really really good I also grabbed some gyoza dipping sauce and this is for you guessed it the gyoza so I've never had this before I normally use the Trader Joe's soy, soy yaki but I saw this and I want to try it and it was low point so again gyoza dipping sauce a can of fat-free refried beans this is part to pair with those tacos for dinner I also grabbed the Trader Joe's Italian or sweet Italian style chicken sausage. Again, this is for a dinner. This chicken sausage, you guys, is really, really good. It's a great alternative to the Sam's Choice chicken apple sausage if you don't have that in your area. So I do really like this. I've had this before, yum. And then this is kind of a staple in my house since they did away with the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella. I now stock up on the organic shredded mozzarella. This is a little bit more points. It is two smart points per serving versus one smart point, but it's actually really delicious. It tastes like a full fat cheese. It is a little on the pricey side though. It's $4.99 for an eight ounce bag, which is a lot, but it's delicious and it's great on points. And lastly, I picked up some uncured dry rubbed sliced bacon. Look how thick this bacon is. And this is also for an upcoming recipe. So that's everything I grabbed from Trader Joe's. So let's move right into what I picked up from Fred Meyer or Kroger. So here is my grocery haul from Fred Meyer or Kroger. I picked up everything I needed for the week there, along with a few things that aren't pictured, case of water, a couple other small things, a couple frozen pizzas for a dinner for my husband, but everything else I picked up is for the upcoming week. So let's jump right into what I picked up at Fred Meyer or Kroger. So I've never tried these, but I had a coupon and these are the Halo Top Pops. This is the chocolate chip cookie dough. They are 50 calories a piece. Of course, the points will be here on the screen, but I thought this might be a nice treat to have a low point dessert after dinner so I grabbed the chocolate chip cookie dough if you've tried these leave it down in the comments let me know what the best flavor is my store had this one peanut butter and mint chocolate chip so picked up those also a loaf of bread this is for my husband's lunches but I do like to show just regular bread it is only three smart points per slice so if you wanted to incorporate a full size slice of bread into your day it's very simple at three points a piece Picked up two dozen eggs, one of the Pete and Jerry organic eggs. I had a coupon for this one. And then, of course, my happy eggs. So two dozen eggs for the week. Velveeta slices. This is for an upcoming recipe. Walnuts. I needed pieces or halves, about a half of a cup. I was going to get these in the bulk section, but they were out. It must be from Thanksgiving. So I just picked up this little package. It's exactly a half a cup. Exactly what I need for my breakfast meal prep. Also, peanut butter was on sale for 99 cents, the Kroger brand. So I grabbed the creamy Kroger peanut butter. This is nice just to have on hand. My dog will take his medicine really well in peanut butter. So we generally always like to keep some in the pantry. Also some jalapenos. This is for an upcoming recipe. I need both the jalapenos and the juice. So I made sure that I grabbed a big enough one that there was some juice left over for the recipe. Also a can of crushed pineapple for a dessert dessert recipe that I'm going to be making. This was on clearance, so I picked it up for Christmas. So we had ham at Thanksgiving, but we're gonna have turkey at Christmas. So this is the Spice Islands Turkey Rub, and this is the Savory Herb, garlic, rosemary, thyme, and sage. So I'm just gonna throw it in the pantry, and we will be using this to spice up our turkey for Christmas. It sounds super good. And then I also grabbed a small thing of orange juice. This is for an upcoming recipe. And then of course, as always, fat-free Ready Whip. I still have about a half a can, but I did not want to run out. I never want that to happen again. So picked up another can of that. And I was actually going to get the Kroger Carb Master Milk, but they were out. They only had the chocolate and I needed some light milk for a couple of recipes. So I picked up the Fair Life. I usually don't buy this brand just due to their controversy on how they treat their animals, but there was no other option, unfortunately at my store so fair life it is for this week 
Also some baking items. Sugar was on sale for 99 cents, so I had to grab that. And then I was completely out of just your traditional all-purpose flour, so I picked up that. And then I saw this as I was just walking by. And this, I don't know if you can tell in the package, is those big grains of sparkling decorative sugar. Every Christmas I make my sugar cookies and they are frosted. They are so good. They are my family's favorite. And I thought how cute would it be to decorate the snowman with this sparkling sugar and it would look like the snowman is covered in snow. So I had to pick it up. It was on sale for $3.99, normally $5.99. It is a resealable bag. So I can even throw it in the bin for next year if I don't use it all. But how fun is that going to be on those cookies? Olay wraps. I am going to be making some wraps for dinner one night. So I grabbed the tomato and basil Olay wraps. Also, these were 99 cents on sale, the, any type of Nabisco cracker. I tried these on the way home. They're delicious. These are the cracked pepper wheat thins. I love wheat thins. And I almost got the tomato basil and then I was like, nope, I'm going to try the cracked pepper. They're good, but they have a little bit of a spice kick. So if you are not at all a spicy food person, there's quite the spice from the pepper. Very good, but definitely take note of that. And then we needed some more saltines. My husband likes to have these on hand just for soups and things like that. And I found this one, which are the fresh stacks. And I thought that's even better. That way they don't get stale or soggy. So I thought that just opening a smaller pack at a time would be great. Same price as the regular uh, saltine. So I grabbed the fresh stacks. And then my husband loves these in his lunch. They were buy one, get one free. I thought I would show them to you. I mean, you certainly can work these into your day. They're just going to be a lot higher points. And these are the Entenmann's Little Bites. And these are just little mini muffins. This is the party cake muffin. And then this one is the blueberry muffin. So they're kind of fun just to throw in lunch. Great for kids' lunches. There's five little muffins per package. So not a huge serving, but they're really, really delicious. And the rest of what I picked up is produce. So I have two bags of red grapes. Grapes were on sale for 99 cents a pound again, so I had to pick those up. That will be one of my fruits this week. Green leaf lettuce. This is for those wraps that I'm going to be making. Bananas for a recipe, and then of course just for snacking. Tomatoes also for wraps and another recipe. Actually, the lettuce and tomato are for two separate recipes this next week. A bag of fresh cranberries. This is for a dessert recipe that I'm going to be making in meal prep. Pears were on sale for 99 cents a pound, so I picked up four red pears. I am heading to Seattle on Thursday for a class, and I thought that I could throw some healthy snacks in a little lunch sack to take with me, and pears are great because they travel really well. And then lastly, I picked up an orange. This is for a recipe, and then of course, whatever's left over will be for snacking. So that is my haul for the week from Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store. So let's go ahead and get into this week's meal plan and what I am doing for meal prep. This is my Carrie L meal planner. I am so excited to let you guys know that they have a selection of brand new meal plan covers. I love them. I actually just ordered mine, so I can't wait to show it to you guys. I am about out of room in this one. I've been using it for about a year, so they last a little bit over a year. I'm so excited about their new covers. They come in this size here, which is the eight and a half by 11, the smaller seven by nine, and the digital version. Then you can use my discount code. I'll put it at the very end here for anything on their website for 10% off. They have gratitude journals, meal planners, budget planning, you name it, they've got everything. I'm obsessed with my meal planner. So this again is the eight and a half by 11. It's absolutely stunning. There are tons of tabs and resources for you. So first the resource tab that is going to allow you to jot down your favorite meal planning blogs, websites. You can even write down your favorite recipes. There's an inventory tab where you can inventory your freezer your pantry, and also your spices. So it gives you a chance to list what you have and expiration dates. The meal plan tab, we'll come back to that one. The gatherings tab, this comes in extremely handy this time of year because this is where you plan your gatherings. So you would write down the event that you're hosting, what you're planning to make as far as food goes, things for kids and supplies needed for that event. And then there is a detachable grocery list that you can simply take off and take with you to do your shopping. So 
awesome great tool this time of year especially and then of course the last tab is for notes and that's where you can really jot down anything you want i just happened to write down a recipe that i wanted to keep so that's a great spot for that and then in the very very back there is a two-sided cute little pocket folder you can put recipes car the cards from the ww workshops whatever you want in the back so let's jump into the yellow tab which is the meal plans tab so the first thing you're going to find in the meal plans tab is a monthly at a glance meal planner i do use this every single month i will jot down just quickly what is on my menu for dinners for the week that way the night before i can make sure that i have the supplies i need and that I've pulled the meat that I need out of the freezer. So I love the At A Glance monthly planner. It is amazing. And then each week there is a weekly menu planner. Now I just plan my dinners because I do meal prep my breakfast and my lunches, but you can write down the dates and all of the meals that you are planning. And then my favorite part again is the detachable grocery list that you can take with you to the grocery store. I use it every single week. It is exactly my list that I take with me to the grocery store. So I love the weekly planner. So let's jump into my menu plan for the week. You can see, of course, the grocery list is missing. I took it with me to the store this morning. So this weekly menu is for the week of 1130 through 12 six. Can you guys believe it is December 1st tomorrow? That is crazy to me. So I again plan my dinner. So sun Saturday, Tonight, I am planning on making veggie pot pies, which is a vegetarian recipe that you'll be seeing in an upcoming video. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm going to be making peppered turkey avocado wraps, and I'm going to pair that with some fries. Oh, this sounds so good. Then I have a little special video coming out, and it is from Trader Joe's. I'm going to be doing a five nights of dinners all from Trader Joe's. So you can see that most of this week, my menu consists of meals from Trader Joe's. And I didn't wanna tell you what I was making because I want it to be a bit of a surprise. So you'll be seeing a five nights of Trader Joe's dinners. And then I am in Seattle for a class for real estate and I am going to be vlogging a lot of my trip. So you'll be seeing that in an upcoming video. Speaking of vlogging, I am doing Vlogmas, so be prepared for daily uploads in the month of December. Now on the back of my weekly menu, that is where I plan what I am doing for meal prep. And also I wanted to mention before I forget, stay tuned also for holiday baking. It is coming your way very, very shortly. So for breakfast this next week, I'm gonna be making a blueberry walnut baked oatmeal. I have been craving baked oatmeal since I made that really good strawberry blueberry one. So good. So I'm going to make it a little more wintry, a little more comforting for this time of year and do blueberries and walnuts. And then for lunches, I'm going to be making a copycat Taco Bell quesadilla. So supposedly this copycat recipe is better than the original Taco Bell quesadilla. So I cannot wait to make that for lunches this next week. I may pair that with some refried beans. I'm not 100% sure yet. I need to see the points of the quesadilla once I figure out all of the points. And then for dessert, I'm going to be making cranberry fluff. And this recipe is from my good friend Barrett Pastor over at WW Living Life on Track. So I'm going to go ahead and take her recipe and make a delicious cranberry fluff. So that is what is on my menu for the week. And again, this is my Carrie L meal planner. Definitely head over to their website, use my code here on the screen to get 10% off and free shipping. Check out their new covers, they are beautiful. Thank you for joining me on another weekly grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the good stuff I picked up from both Trader Joe's and Fred Meyer. I am incredibly excited about this Trader Joe's video that's coming your way very shortly and very excited about my meal prep. You will be seeing all of these recipes on Monday in Meal Prep Monday, so definitely stay tuned for that. Make sure you check out the Carrie L Meal Planner. There is a link down in the description box below and my code is down there as well. It's amazing. You guys, you know I use it every single week. It's literally how I plan my life. I could not do this journey without having that meal planner. So check it out. Their new covers are beautiful. Also in the description box are all of the rest of the links and discount codes that I can offer to you on some of my favorite things. Of course, if you're new, welcome. I'd love it if you'd stick around and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I would really appreciate a thumbs up on this one. It really helps my channel and of course comment down below let me know what you guys thought of this week's grocery haul and what are you most excited about as far as my meal plan goes thank you guys so much for watching happy saturday and i'll see you in my next video bye